The direction is made up of one or more crystals. It may be monocarpillary with a single crystal or multicarpillary with multiple crystals. When there are multiple crystals, they can be syncarpous. Syncarpous means uh, fused together. For example, in tomato, or it may be apocarpus. Uh, crystals are free from each other. For example, in lotus. This pistil has three main parts, stigma, style and oak. Stigma, the sticky tip where the pollen lands. Style, the cylindrical tube that, that connects the uh, stigma to ovary. Ovary, the swollen base that helps for the development of ovules. Inside the ovary is the ovary cavity or ovule which holds the placenta. From the placenta, Arise one or more ovules or megas for India. Interactive structure of ovules. Can you uh, name any fruit or flower that has only one ovule in the ovary? Now we will discuss about the structure of ovule. Small oval structure attached to the placenta by a stalk or funicle. The junction between funicle and ovule is called hilum. Each ovule has one or two integuments, integuments the protective coverings, a small opening at the tip called micropyle through which the pollen tube enters. The base opposite to the micropyle is called chalum. Inside the integument is the new cellars, a tissue raised in stored food. Within the new cellars lies the most important structure, the embryo shank or female gametophyte. Can you answer it? What role do integuments play in the ovule? Now the formation of megaspore. The process of megaspore formation from a megaspore mother cell is called as megaspore. This happens inside the microbiota region of the new cellus where a single large cell megaspore mother cell that differentiate megaspore mother cells has dense cytoplasm large nucleus the megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis producing four haploid megaspores arranged in a linear tetra why meiosis Yes, to reduce the chromosome number and forms haploid gametes. In most flowering plants, only one megaspore remains functional, the other three degenerates. This process is called as monosporic development. What would happen if more than one megaspore remains functional? Think about it. Formation of embryo sac. Now, we are going to discuss about the formation of embryo sac. Embryo sac is as follows. Female gametophyte, the new cellus, the functional megaspore, undergoes three mitotic division, but without immediate cell wall formation. This is called as pre nuclear division. First nuclear division gives rise to two nuclei, second division, four nuclei, third division, eight nuclei. Afterwards, cell wall form around six of the nuclei, organizing them into the cell. As a result, a major embryo shack that is eight nuclei and several cell. Structure of embryo shack having micropylar and egg apparatus, which contains two synergies and one egg cell. On the cellular end, there are three antibodies. At the central cell, two nuclei, called polar nuclei, present. The synergies have helicon operators guiding the pollen tube to the egg. I'm sure these questions you have understood. Otherwise, watch it again. What are the role of synergies and helicon operators? 
how many nuclei and how many cells are found in a mature embryo cell. And last, why is monosporic development more common in angiosperms?